Hey Travis kiddos, I have a little bit of vocabulary and some phonemic awareness work to do with you today. So let's start with those vocabulary words. I have three to go over with you. The first one is difficult. Have you ever heard that word before? You probably have. Um, you've probably even used it. <laughs> difficult means not easy, something that's hard or challenging. So maybe you are working on a puzzle that is difficult to do. It's not easy to do, difficult. Another vocabulary word this week is nobody. Nobody means no one or no person. Nobody, there is nobody on our porch, nobody. And tradition. Notice the T-I-O-N is making a shun sound, tradition. So tradition is a holiday or custom that is passed down from the past to the present. So it's something that you do at a special time and is done regularly at that special time. So maybe you have a birthday tradition, maybe every year on your birthday you have a special kind of cake or spend time with special people in your family. Maybe you have a 4th of July tradition of watching the fireworks with your family. Maybe you have a special um, tradition in your family on Friday nights you watch movies. So it's something that you do consistently um, on some kind of usually a special celebration or a special custom. Okay, so we're going to look at those three words, difficult, nobody, and tradition, a little bit more this week, as well as some other vocabulary words. Let's switch gears into some phonemic awareness. So for phonemic awareness, you listen and um, manipulate word parts and words. What we're going to do today is I'm going to give you a syllable, and you're going to put it at the end of another syllable to make a word. For example, if I have the word 10, could you put that at the end of the word kit? So that becomes kit 10, kitten, right? Let's do a few more. Can you put ing at the end of bake? That becomes baking, baking. How about ed at the end of taste? Tasted. Let's see if you can do the last two on your own. Can you put not at the end of can? Not at the end of can. What do you get? And how about pet at the end of pup? Hmm, what do you get there? Pet after pup. Hope you were able to do those two words on your own. We'll keep working on those vocabulary words. Have fun and happy learning.